The ocean is a world of sound. Marine life, especially mammals like dolphins and whales, depend on their sensitive hearing to communicate, to find food, and to survive. But right now, Big Oil is pushing hard to gain approval to use seismic air guns to search for oil and gas off the East Coast, a process that could turn an area of ocean twice the size of California into a blast zone, potentially injuring or killing more than 138,000 dolphins and whales, threatening the health of regional fisheries and risking the jobs of more than half a million people who depend on healthy oceans for their livelihood. The Obama administration will soon decide whether to allow the first step to expand drilling to the East Coast by permitting this dangerous and destructive method of searching for offshore oil and gas. During this process, boats tow a large array of air guns that blast compressed air into the ocean. These blasts are capable of traveling miles into the seafloor, mapping oil and gas deposits trapped deep below. Seismic air guns are unbelievably loud. These dynamite-like blasts go off every 10 seconds, 24 hours a day, for weeks to months on end. Seismic blasts may drown out the voices of dolphins and whales, but they can't drown out our voices. We're making noise too, and it's loud. Oceana and our team of scientists, advocates, and volunteers are speaking up and sounding the alarm letting the public know the damage that seismic blasting and expanded offshore drilling could cause. We've held dozens of rallies up and down the East Coast from Maine to Miami, delivered over 100,000 petitions to the White House administration. Recently, we held a public forum tour along the blast zone, stopping in cities from New Jersey to Florida, informing local citizens about the threats of seismic blasting. There, members of Congress, top scientists, professors, state legislators, and the public spoke out, and their message was loud and clear. We must protect our oceans. We must protect marine wildlife. We must protect our coastal communities. We must stop seismic blasting. And we must stop it now. Thankfully, that message is being heard. In large part due to these efforts, the decision to permit seismic blasting off the East Coast has been delayed, but the fight is far from over. We are hearing big oil is gearing up to push harder than ever to get their way. Now is the time for all of us to stand up, to make some noise, and have our voices heard. Together, we can stop seismic blasting and end East Coast drilling before it starts. Help us make some noise. Join us today. Visit Oceana.org backslash seismic and add your voice. Together, we can take back our oceans from big oil.